Alrighty, Mike, where are we at? Well, it's time to put the Kickstarter on. So All right. Turn her over. Let me, uh, let me work my way over here. All right. All right, it's pretty straightforward. Start off with the clutch. All right. That's, that's the thing with the ball bearings. All right. You can, I'll oh, show yeah. them to you there. All right. Four bearings in there. All right. So you're all rolling away now. Okay. All ready to go on. It just it just slides on. Yep, slides on. There's so you two gotta put shims. Your, got a shim and a bushing. Yep. Okay. And we'll get a give a little bit of oil. Okay. Slip it right on. Oh, look at that. You do that. Easy and, goes. Uh, we got our taper pin here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, only can go in one way. Right. Let me get over here. See. That actually has a weight on it, that uh, clutch. It does, to counterweight the uh, the uh, piston right. right over here. You see, the twin don't have that because you got the two, the two pistons. You know what? I think we might have to take a shim out. It might be a little bit too tight. Hmm. So, let's see. Let's take that thin one out. Hmm. Yeah, you're going the right way. Alright, let's take the thick one out and put the thin one in. How about if you pull on it? Is there any play on that? Uh... No, I, don't, I don't feel much. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. It's in there now. Get over on this side. Okay, here we go. See? Taper pin. Right. Just push that in as far as it'll go. Right. You don't want to you don't want to send that in too far because that's only a casting and I've seen a lot of them crack. Mm-hmm. So we'll just flip it upside down. And what you do on this end is that there's a split in it. Yeah. And just to lock it in place, you open that split up a little and bit. It doesn't have to be open much. Nope, just enough so that it can't slide back through. Alright. It don't take much because that's that's soft metal. Yeah, yeah, it's not real hard. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Rotated. I think we drove it out a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. There. You're killing me. That's probably better. easier. Probably easier to spread it that way too. Yeah. Spread it from the spread side from the right side. here. Yep. Yeah. There you go. That's it. That's all it takes. Looks mm. good. Looks good. Okay. Now, we'll just uh, let's put the cotter pin in there. Oh yeah, that's a, a cotter pin. This, this, these ninety uh, twos just have a cotter pin. Huh. No washer or nothing. I'm like, that's way to go. Yeah, it's it's. Yeah, it's so I don't, tight. I don't feel a lot of. There's really no room for a cotter no. or a washer. You know, let's try putting that. Book. I don't think. Uh. I, I, don't, I, yeah, I didn't. I don't think it went there, but nah. just to take up some slack. Nah, it's too nah. tight. Just yeah. wondering. Well, that spins. Yeah, that's. You don't want it to hang up on there because if right. your kick pedal gets clocked in there, it'll. Right. It, it'll it'll uh, take something out. Yeah. So Yeah, that's the only size cotter pin I had. That's all right. Yeah, it'll work. You're not going to see it, it gets covered. No. And that will put our okay. kick pedal pivot pin in. That slides right in. All right, and it just has a cotter pin holding it all together. Okay. Let's see. Just split that a little bit. A little bit difficult because I have to hold the pin while I'm trying to. Yeah, well, it's also it's a short pin too. Yeah, it is. Let's see if I can. Oh, 
I'll show you these one bend one side and you're fine. Yeah. It's not going nowhere. There, yeah, it's alright. There you go. That ain't going nowhere. Right. Okay. Slip our pedal on. Just slip the pedal on. We already got the spring on. You linked up one way there. Yeah. And then you just have to hook it onto the frame. Slides right on. Let's, uh, I'll, uh, I'm going to put that, connect that spring up where we have it. Probably easy access. Or at least put the pin through. Is it, are you having a tough time there? Nah. Sometimes what I do is I'll put that on there and then just pull the whole assembly and slide it on. Yeah. Because, you know, you have something to grab. Hmm. That's all right. That's pretty good. Uh, what do we got here? What's that? Mm. This this is the old-fashioned kind that don't have that finger, so sometimes it's probably it's going to be tough. Yeah, it'll be tough locking yeah. in. It's all right. It's That's why they modified it and, and did it, yeah. Huh. All right. Good old Maytag. Things change. Yeah. Improvements. Well, over here, they used to have a, the newer models have a sliding finger. For that purpose, helps. so so it doesn't jam up. Yeah, help start a little bit. Yeah. All right. Let me see. I can't. All oh, these have covers on them. Can't show you on one that's already out. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Cover plate. Finish this thing up. The only thing that holds that on is this cover plate here it has a. Right. There's a set a, screw on the pin. Right. Right here. I think we. I think we argued about that before. What's that? I call it a bolt. You call it a set screw. Oh. Gotcha. I don't want to get into that again. And uh, that. And, and we agreed to disagree. Oh, we really not talk about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about it until you put that thing on there. So whatever, whatever that thing is on the bottom where his hand is, you got to tighten. Yeah. There we go. And the other, the other end here. Is the, is the bolt goes into that, the gas tank. Right, one of the yeah. bolts for the cover. Right. So. Is, that, is that bolt longer than the rest of them? Yes. Yeah, okay. It is. Tighten it up. Yeah, it's looking good. I know, it is. Looking like an engine, man. I like the uh, good choice of the black and green here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you got to offset them. You know? I mean, I've seen them where they're all green and stuff, and it's just just too much green. I mean, it's an ugly color to begin with. You gotta, Not much you can do with it to make it look good, but... I should have given you a smaller. Yeah, it's alright. I just don't want to. You don't want to scratch the paint. Yeah, I don't want to get. Mike's learning how to work on these restored engines. It's a, it's a culture shock. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Good. And uh, there's one more piece of the cover. For the oh, yeah, the cover there. And this is this is where we, we sort of modified it because the original ones just had a bolt in there. And what we did is we uh, picked up a an oiler. Turn around so you can show that the ball oiler. So yeah. you can oil it. Yep, you press that ball down yeah. and drip some oil down there. Oils the main bearing straight down. Yeah. Okay. Everything's square too. Yeah, I've seen them. Oh, you might need a sock for that. I'm like, ah, uh, you know what? It's not happening. Seven yeah. sixteenth. I have one of those laying around. Huh. Right here. here you go. Get a little baby wrench in there. That's probably good too, cause that's a thin wall. Yeah. And that really don't. All it does is hold that on, so it's doesn't have to. Kill yeah, you don't have you to don't want, crank up on you it. Don't want it vibrating and right. Causing a causing a scene. Okay. That looks pretty good. Next step, uh, carburetor. Okay. Let me shut this down, take a break, and we'll uh, regroup.